In this video, I will show you how to create this button using HTML and CSS. I will explain how to apply a gradient to a border and create a glowing hover effect. Both are things that unfortunately are not intuitively available in CSS and need a little trick which is explained in this video. In HTML, we only need a simple button. In CSS, I have already applied a dark background color for the body and I centered the element using Flexbox. Now let's focus on the button. For the button, we set a padding top and bottom of 1EM and padding left right of 2EM. The background color will be similar to that of the body, only a little bit brighter. Very important, we do not need a border, because we will create this border in a different way. Our font color is a very light gray. The border radius is 1000 pixels, so that we have rounded corners. Our font family is Segoi UI. So much for the preparation. Now we get to the interesting part. Since there is no CSS property to create a gradient border, we have to use a pseudo element in CSS. To do this, we write button colon colon after. This is a pseudo element. Its content is empty, so we write an empty string. The position of this element is absolute. And for the button itself, we set the position to relative. This way, the pseudo element is always oriented relatively to the button. Now we set the height and width to 100% and the border radius is 1000 pixels. Let's apply a background color so that we can finally see this element. We can see the shape looks exactly like the button, which is what we want. But as you can see, the pseudo element is not positioned correctly. Therefore, we use Flexbox for the button to center the pseudo element. Now this element should completely cover the button. On this element, we want to display the gradient. For this, we set the background image property and use the linear gradient method. This method receives three parameters. The direction, to bottom right, the first color, which is blue, and the second color, which is purple. Now we have to move this pseudo element behind the button. To do this, we set the z-index to minus 1. This way, the pseudo element is now hidden behind the button. Now, to create the border, we only need to adjust the height and width of this pseudo element. For example, 107 and 102%. And now we can finally see our gradient border. Since the pseudo element is bigger than the element itself, it appears like a border. Now we only need four lines of code to design the hover state for the button. If we set the z-index to zero, we push the pseudo element back to the foreground and the button is filled with the gradient. Now we want to create a glow effect. For this, we use the box shadow property. We create a colored shadow, so to speak. Unfortunately, the linear gradient method cannot be used here either which is why we need to create two overlapping shadows instead. The first shadow is 40px on the x-axis, meaning shifted to the right, and zero on the y-axis. 100px specifies how blurred the shadow should be. The color of the first shadow is blue. Now we can see our first blue shadow. To create the second shadow, we simply add a comma and do the same thing again. Only here it is minus 40 pixels on the x-axis, meaning shifted to the left, and the color is our purple color. If you don't want the glow effect to appear so strong, we can simply reduce the opacity of the shadows. This way we make them a little bit more transparent. And this is how we created the glow effect. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about layouts and Flexbox, then check out this video right here.